Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the Windows Activation Error 0x87e10bc6 on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Activation Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the Settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on System on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the Activation category and click on it. Now in here, if you have any problems with your Windows 11 activation key, make sure to click on activation state and then click on the troubleshooter that relates to this activation state. Now just wait for the troubleshooter to scan for any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Afterwards, restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. Another useful solution is to use command prompt. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, simply type the following command, but make sure to input your product key into the product key field. Again, note that in here I typed in product key, but you actually have to type in your Windows 11 product key instead of product key, so to make it less confusing. Now just press on enter and then simply input the following command. After pressing on enter, what you can do is simply close this command prompt, restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. Another great solution is to temporarily disable the Windows Defender firewall. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type firewall and then select Windows Defender firewall from the search results. In here, on the left pane, make sure to click on Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off and then both under Private Network Settings and Public Network Settings, tick the box next to Turn Off Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on OK to save the changes and then restart your PC for the changes to take place. You can then check if the problem still persists. Another great solution is to uninstall any third-party firewall software. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side click on apps and features. Now in here scroll down until you find the problematic firewall software, then click on the ellipsis next to it and select the uninstall option. This will uninstall the software and then you can restart your PC to check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to restore your operating system to a previous point. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type RSTRUI and then select it as a run command from the search result. In here, start by pressing on the next button, then choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred and then press on next again. And lastly, click on finish to start the restoration procedure. And that's it plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.